Hey, what is going on you guys? My name is Windex and here in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to install a uh, Black Ops 2 mod menu, the non-infection way, on RGH or JTAG, whatever you want to call it. It's all the same thing, all does the same thing, they're not the same thing, but they do the same thing. But anyways, I've set this up all easy for you. Alright, anyways, to start, uh, you will need, obviously, Neighborhood. There's a link that'll take you to Modded Warfare's channel and you can download Neighborhood there, a safe copy of it. And then the second thing you'll need to install a Black Ops 2 mod menu is the Black Ops 2 mod menu itself. And then you'll also need this folder right here. This folder is what allows you to run all of your mods. Uh, it starts off as a raw folder and then it just continues and in this is where you will install all your mods. And I've just pre-made all the folders for you so you can just drag it into your Black Ops 2 game folder. Alright, so to start off, what you'll want to do is you'll want to navigate to your Black Ops 2 folder through Neighborhood. So we'll go to JTAG, Retail Hard Drive Emulation, and then you'll just find your Black Ops 2 folder. I had my Black Ops 2 before I did my uh, games folder, so my Black Ops 2 is up here. Okay, and then uh, what you want to do here is you want to take the raw folder that I have provided for you. And uh, remember, this is just what allows you to run all the mods and where you'll be saving all the mod menus and stuff too. And you'll just want to drag it into your Black Ops 2 root folder and now you can see I have my raw folder here okay so uh, once you have it into your black ops 2 root folder what you want to do is you'll want to open up where you have the mod menu which is uh, right here in this uh, RAR file for me you'll open that up and you'll navigate to the folder that says maps here and then once you get into this folder you'll just uh, follow along and place the files in the folders that it tells you to all right, so you'll go to raw, maps, and then MP, and then you'll click MP over here. And then you'll see it'll want you to place these files in this folder right here. So that's what we'll go ahead and do. Place these files in just the MP folder with the game types and game type ZM folder. And then we'll navigate into our games type folder. And then we'll place uh, the file that it wants us to put in this folder over here. And then that is it. Your mod menu for Black Ops 2 multiplayer is installed. And it's the same way for zombies. Except it for most zombies menu, it'll either have you place it just in here. Or it'll ask you to place it in this folder. Uh, it's all different. For some menus, you'll have to remove the multiplayer menu. I suggest to have two, two separate folders and then replace them back and forth. But anyways, let's go ahead and launch Black Ops 2 and get on the console and make sure that the menu is installed correctly. Okay, and now that we're in game, what you want to do to open up this mod menu and make sure that it's working is aim and knife at the same time. And as you can see, we have our Jiggy menu version 4.5. That is not an infection. Uh, but anyways, that's how you install uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 mod menu. And now that you're in game with your mod menu, you can just go ahead and uh, mess around. If you have any questions about the Black Ops 2 mod menu, you can just uh, go ahead and uh, ask me down below in the comments. So thank you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to go ahead and subscribe. And if you're not, then uh, go ahead and uh, like the video and uh, comment and tell me what you'd like to see in the next video. Uh, you can do that if you're new as well. But uh, yeah, so uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.